welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Teamer Hydra. We're going to go ahead and try this deck over in Mythic. Uh, we did pretty well with it the last time that we played it in Ranked, and it's just a lot of fun to play. Just, I really like Bio Essence Hydra. I think this card is just really fun. It's, you know, it says five mana, four, four, trample, but honestly, the card is much, much bigger than that. Because every time we play a Planeswalker, it gets a whole lot of counters. If there's Planeswalkers in play, whenever you play the Hydra, it gets a lot of counters. And this card's just really, really big. So we're going to go ahead and play it over in ranked again. Um, give it a nice, uh, good uh, test here. See if we can have some more success with the deck. Um, or if there's anything that we need to be changing with it. Uh, we're going to play around five matches. Somewhere in that vicinity here for this video, um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Bioessence Hydra. So, oh, that's not the ranked button. Play ranked Team Hydra. All right. Looks like I'm number 500. Been a little bit since since I did ranked and didn't know where I would be um, in the rankings. Let's see. I think, you know, your rank always de deteriorates if you don't play because people will pass you and everything. I think we left off last time at ranked like in the 100 or maybe low 200 range, something like that. The previous hand was just a little too risky for me. Let's keep it. All right, what do we got? What are we playing against? Godless Shrine. That probably means Esper. It's about the only deck playing Godless Shrine these days. Could be four color dread horde as well. But probably means Esper. I don't really like seeing Search for Escanta, because Search for Escanta is, is telling us that this is a control version with like most likely if they're playing Search for Escanta, that means they're playing Kai's Wrath's main. Don't really want to see Kai's Wrath with my double mana creature opener. Let's slow this down. Don't worry, I got this. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. So we could have played Sarkin, but Sarkin didn't really do anything. If I if I would have played Sarkin, we would have minus made a, a creature, a dragon creature. And then... And then the Teferi would have just been able to bounce the, the creature token, and that would not have been very good for us. I am Tamiyo. It is an honor seek. And Don't necessarily love where we're at here. I know my responsibility. Let's skip to the good part. Ooh. Letting me keep the Tamiyo.
All right, so actually, let's look for Domery. I know I noted this somewhere. Anarch of Bolas. That's the three mana one, right? Yes. Okay. Do I want to have both of these attack the Teferi to like make sure that we kill the Teferi? Yeah. No sword can pierce my scales. I summon you. So basically, trading the spellbreaker. <clears throat> With that one loyalty of Teferi that, that doesn't let them draw the card, doesn't let them untap the two two mana. And, uh, you know, that, that card they draw could have been, an, you know, a removal spell for the Spellbreaker anyway and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, just not let, don't let them have that. Well, that doesn't do anything. We got Tamiyo. No discard. Yeah, I think I like attacking Narset, casting Krasis afterwards, because, you know, we can't draw multiple cards right now. Um, yeah, I like that. I will call the dragons. I'm considering just having the Tamiyo minus. There is no peace at I can see. Let's, let's first see what happens here. Considering have the heavy the Tamiyo minus for like another Tamiyo. Just in case it, it goes away that we have like the other Tamiyo. No tail should be discarded. They can go grab something else. Graces. I follow the tracks of the wise. Draw more cards. All right, they're down to six. Gross. <clears throat> Good thing we have this other Tamiyo that can grab Sarkin back. I have learned all I can here. All right, and they get to activate as Kanta still. Elder spell is very good. Let 
like the phases of the moon, light waxes and wanes. And let's get our mana creatures out here. I have learned much from my instead of Kiora. Everybody else have a good weekend. <sighs> Hope so. Yeah, Zephyrs. I'm planning on on tweaking that one this week. The Sultai Amnesia deck, because yeah, that was that was a really cool deck. Um, and yeah, I think that could use some some tweaking and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that uh, this week. Off for two weeks until you start your new job. Well, there you go. Sure it's always nice to have that that, that time off right. there, B, and hope you enjoy your new job. I'm good, Orasonic. Glad you did. Might be a bad idea. I think you will find my notes helpful. Dummy. How are we doing mana wise? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. So I can go Sarkin plus Kiora or Domri. Kiora, we draw a card. Domri, we kill the Bell Haunt. Feel the heat of my flames! Kick this madness into high gear. Your end has arrived. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Driving around with trains? That's a pretty sweet job. Get 100 bucks to get a box of War of Spark and Modern Horizons from side events. Hey, those are, that's a successful side events there. Especially that Modern Horizons box. Very nice. Oh no, Prabba got a flat tire. I had to replace all of them earlier than expected. Ugh. That's a pain. But glad besides that everything was good. <laughs> Yeah, against control decks, we are, we are a, uh, definitely a teamer, super friends looking deck. Um, to the library. Nisa. Yeah, we could have instant speed wrath here. Good call. Oh, 
All right. So we want Negates, Daredevil, Ugin, and Strike, Druid, Hydra, other Hydra, Druid, oh, Domri. Get Druid back. Hmm. Druid and Domri are both like mana creatures. Domri also pumps up our other things. Yeah, I'll keep one in there. And unfortunately, Bios Insider does have keyword big and is very, very big, but these uh, black control decks have hard removal that they don't really care too much about a creature with keyword big. All right, Storm, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I, I don't know, T1. I don't know. Honestly, I have no estimate. Hmm. Pretty likely we lose, but we're up a game. Uh, having... A lot of lands is not a bad thing against the Thought Erasure deck, honestly. And suddenly this hand looks pretty good, you know, without a turn one or turn two play, but a lot of plays after that. Get out of here, Narset. Yes, Hydra is very, very good in other matchups. Um, against aggro, against green decks. Like, the Hydra is awesome. Just not really against the black control decks. So I play Phoenix... They Teferi bounce my Phoenix. Let's get damage in. I can no longer stand by and watch. Let's try this. Yeah, you could you could sub Domri Chaos Bringer if you want. Um, the thing that I really that I've really liked with Domri Chaos Bringer, we we've won like the last time we played the deck, we won a, a few I games simply because Domri gave the Bio Essence Hydra haste, and we attacked you know for like twenty plus haste trample damage uh, because the Domri and their games that we were not going to be winning otherwise. Behold! 
Um, it's the thing is like I haven't really found room for a second. I, I, I like it a lot, but thinking like just the the first may be better than the second that's more like it the minus also does help you find you know like your hmm. put them down to one so one two three four yeah this works There's just a lot. Of, there's like a you know a lot of good cards in the in the deck though that I like and haven't really found room for another. So I know, so we can attack them. We can put them down to one, but if I do that, then Teferi gets to untap and bounce this token and draw a card. So I, I honestly think it's probably so. Like the token would be dead. So I think it's probably better just to keep the token around. Put them to five instead of one, and have Teferi die, so they don't get to just draw another card for free. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got it. Okay, so that another fairy. But can't handle the rest. All right. Want to know? Smash. Hey, what's up, Disposable Hero? No, we could have put our opponent down to one there. Couldn't quite kill them. Hmm. This hand's really slow. better and I am gonna need another land but I would also I want to try to draw a two drop a one or two drop you know like a land world for something else eh, yeah I guess we also need more red hmm we are gonna need more mana though all right bottom final answer All right, good. Worked out well. Put it on the bottom, we found another land. Worked out well. Can't wait for London Mulligan, yeah. Yeah, it's almost here. My pets are hungry. And you no, I, d I don't have any number gold, no. No. Ow. I've got that sinking feeling again. So can I waste? Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. I know Nissa doubles the mana. I don't really want to tick up on any of my lands, though. I don't want to turn any of my lands into three threes. I'm gonna have the Dom right here that, that gives my creatures riot. Also. All right, so we have five. 
This is six. You're gonna hurt when this is through. That's seven. So five. Plus the riot, give it another counter, make it a six six. Draw. I guess I, I could have Nissa and Spellbreaker, I suppose. I like it in this thing that can block Crackling Drake in, though. More Drakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, are they dead? Can I Nissa and Hydra? All right, so uh, if I go one, two, three, four, five. So I tap all five lands, play Nissa. I untap one of them, and I play this, and I Domri tick up. So then it's five, seven. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 19, so 23, 23 trample, plus this, yeah, let's, let's do this. No, I'm not, I have to use Domri to, to pay for Bio Essence Hydra. Cause I need the I need the BioS Insider to get haste. Twenty two, twenty two. Draw a card. Don't forget that draw card. All right, twenty eight. Trample. They can survive. They have to block with everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it just goes like does that forty forty for a second. So if, if you didn't know how ridiculous Bio Essence Hydra can be, here you go. The old twenty two twenty two haste trampler. Like you used to think Galta was big. Pfft. Galta ain't got nothing. If we untap for some reason with Bio Essence Hydra, if we play, you know, like Sarkin and Tamio, that's another twelve you know, that's another twelve counters. Each time you play a new Planeswalker, it gains all the counters. Oh, that's true. I could have untapped tapped the land when I was... I was just thinking of just untapping the, like, the Krasis to be able to have the Krasis back on D. Here. Which, I don't really know why I need D. I guess I could have... So if I would have... I would have done Breeding Pool also... I don't know. It would have been a lot. So let's see. Blocks there, then 8, 28. Actually, yeah, it was actually exactly lethal. If I were to use Breeding Pool as well, it was exactly lethal. But not worried about it at all. Don't think our opponent can win from here. Oh, yeah. Gave them another draw step. All right. Uh, Daredevil, good against the Drake deck because it can take their... It's good at taking their coils and, and coiling their Drakes. Coils are good against Drakes as well. Um, strikes, not so good against Drakes. Rekindling Phoenix, not so good against... Uh, Coils. Ace Camden, 
Thank you for that support there with that resub. I really appreciate that. Getting some hype votes here for our subscriber. Getting us to the second sub goal of the day also. Great day getting those two sub goals in. We'll mark those towards our next sub battle stream. What other four cards do I want to take out? I don't really like Nissa here, honestly. The 3-3s three don't really match up. They attack Nissa and everything. Yeah, let's get Nissa out of here. And then... It's possible I need to just take out two mana creatures, like two Paradise Druids. Uh, Domeries are good. Other Domeries good. Yeah. Take out two Paradise Druids with having all these other like coils and things like that in here. I want to keep my top end for the most part. <laughs> Galt is a wimp. Yeah, I said it. Um, Sketchy. New arena player here. You can uh, maybe check out this list of like kind of like all the decks in, in standard you can kind of go through click on those see which one you like see which one maybe works for you for a newer player i'd be looking at try to uh, try to stick with like the one and two mana decks or sorry one and two color decks it's a little usually a little easier to navigate So hopefully that helps there, Sketchy. Kiora's a really good draw. We can Kiora. Oh yeah, Green Stompy, that's a good one. Kiora, then all these things draw cards now. Bet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. I mean, I could minus on the Paradise Druid to untap it so that it gains Hexproof again, but then they just use a burn spell in, in response. I could also just, I could have just paid two life and then uh, uh, not have the Paradise Druid be able to get burn spelled, but I don't really mind get, having the Paradise Druid get burn spelled. Hmm. It's annoying. Time to clam up. Start with Phoenix. Next turn we could do double spellbreaker, or we could Sark and Minus. Yeah, I need a I need to play some more green stompy. I like I like me some green stompy too. I feel like Vine Mare is probably pretty good these days. At least against Esper. Can't block it with Bell Hunt. Can't kill it. One drop ripples and grows. Yeah, Vimeir is not so much against the green decks. But against all the non-green decks. Good. But yeah, no, you're right. Against green decks, not so not so good. Well, they're down to one card. Kiora did, you know, draw us three cards and you know, take a burn spell and everything, so. Not bad. You will feel the lick of Come to me. 
this is where we draw Krasis, refill our hand, or you know any of our other Planeswalkers, or Bioessence Hydra. <laughs> yeah, three lands in a row. That means our fourth one's gonna be nice. You can't draw four lands in a row, right? That, that's never happened. If you were to make a dragon token from Sarkin and you had a cure in play, do you draw a card? Yep, you definitely do. Yep, because it, it's putting a 4-4 creature into play, so yeah, you get to draw a card from Kiora. Oh no. Kefnet. Kefnet quite problematic. Hmm. Hmm. This is really annoying. Why does Kefnet have five toughness? They are coming. So if Kefnet attacks Sarkin, the Sarkin passive will deal one damage to Kefnet, and then it can block with the 4-4, and so can trade with them. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. More Sarkin. The storied past holds our future. I fight with a dragon's ring. More dragons. <laughs> Never enough dragons. Tilt. That kills my planeswalkers. Now let's get draw it. <clears throat> no. I question this outcome. So if I attack out, they go to one. Seems like it's worth it. One dragon dies. They save two life there. They go to one. All right. All right, we got there. Two and O oh for Teamer Hydra. Team Hydra doing its thing. GG's. This deck's pretty fun. Yeah, it's the Vanifar avatar. So that's what I'm using here. I've had some good luck with the Vanifar avatar last uh, couple days streaming with it. Um, and so. And you can tell, like, records today, very good. 4-2, four, 4-2, two, four, two, two, oh. So until until we start having some bad leagues with it, then we'll switch it out. 
Yeah, I'll play Dredge again sometime this week. Um, yeah, so we did, yeah, we did hit that sub goal. Do I have, do I have one more pack that they gave me? Basically, it's not, it's not really worth it for me to buy packs right now, because now, just like a couple, you know, just a few days ago, uh, finished up the rest of the collection with the rares. So, like, there's no rares to purchase anymore. No, I did yeah, so the <clears throat> question is you were saying during the sub battle you wanted a second big domery, did you side against that? Um no, I do want a second big domery, but I don't think that there's really still don't think there's really I don't really know where to to fit it. Like there's there's probably like five cards that I would like in the deck, but I you know finding a, a spot for it's a, a different story than wanting it. Put this thing in play. But yeah, I'd, I'd still like one, but I don't. I don't really know where to where to fit it in. Gruel. Two gruel for school. I don't think minusing to kill the Thorn Lieutenant's really that important and or necessary. <clears throat> they just get a 1-1. One, one. I think having more loyalty on the Domri is more important for whenever we play this bio essence Hydra. That's odd. Wasn't really expecting that. No, that was weird. All right, more coils and rip jaw. And Daredevil for their coils and everything. I don't know where we'd find room for that, though. The Daredevil body isn't that important. What am I taking out here, though? Is Nissa good against Gruul? Probably not, right? Like, we're behind, especially like being on the draw. All the other Planeswalkers seem fine. They're like the Chaos Bringer is probably the worst of them, but giving the Bioessence Insider haste can steal his games. So I guess I'm taking out Strike and Law of the Wilds first Domri wins. Um, I don't know, maybe a I guess a Kiora. Kiora is pretty sweet though. It's either Kiora or Domri, but I guess I'll just take out a Kiora. Alright, we got our coil set up. I'm gonna wait. I'm not like killing them too quickly. I'll let them have the land war elf.
Yeah, the R stands for ranked. We're playing the playing it over in ranked. Hellkite. How the heck do I beat that thing? You're about to get real rowdy. <laughs> Thanks, Gabriel. Okay, how do we beat this Hokai? Oh, yeah. Alright, so Dom is the old four man against six life, I suppose. have anything good in my sideboard against Hellkite. Like, maybe I need to play, like, the Ugin. Especially Ugin on the play. Easier to match up. The Ugin killing a, a Hellkite, I guess. I mean, it's, it's really Krasis. Like, Krasis is my the one thing. But, like... You know, it's tough to have work out. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, change what my the cards in my sideboard. I'm talking about for Game 3, like, how I'm going to plan for Hellkite in Game 3. So yeah, like there there is an Ugin in the sideboard. They have collision. Would I rather have Ugin over Sarkin? Or over Tamio? I really like Tamio on the play. Nah. Yeah, honestly, maybe I should be playing the Kiora over the Sarkin, or just the Kiora over the Tamio. I could see that. Kiora's quite good. Draw land. Ah, uh, another land war off.
wish they didn't have another Llanowar Elf to play that we could have just killed Domri. Please don't have Hellkite. Even worse. How's that card remotely beatable? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have had all these lava coils in my deck. We haven't been doing a very good job of drawing Planeswalkers and Bioess and Cydras. All these crabby lava coils. Like, what if that lava coil was a Kiora? We're doing a lot better. Harness the elements. We're gonna have Domri fight. But yeah, if I don't if I don't block there, the the spellbreaker dies to the fight. Oh, I should attack Nissa for two. What am I doing? Yeah, usually coil is good. I don't know. Between Hellkite and now Ripjaw Raptor. All right, we get Phoenix. Alright, well thanks, mister. So yeah, if you'd like a, a free pack code, you can DM mister there. Where's our planeswalkers? We're on zero planeswalkers in this game. Zero. Behold, nature's true power. Can we get a planeswalker, please. All right, but note to self: I don't think I should should take out Kiora, especially on the play. We need, and we just need planeswalkers. We just don't have any. Walker, no crisis. Nothing. Just a bunch of lands and a few creatures. <sighs> Couldn't handle Anissa. <laughs> Alright, we're two and one. So 
We need one land to start. Really, we need two lands here. But with two lands, we have this Bioess Insider on turn four that's pretty nice. Against an aggressive deck, we lose. Let's just mulligan. Hmm. We could curve Kiora into Sarkin. We need another land for that, though. Yeah, this is looking better than our first hand. Band matchups I haven't loved in the past. I really don't like mass manipulation. I hope our opponent's not a mass manipulation deck. This is a Nyssa. I mean, I assume so with like this tapping like this. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. Let's go one one counter and haste. Attack Nissa with both of these. Alright, Spellbreaker taking out a couple of mana sources. Tap the Phoenix. Let's get moved. Be able to play some D. Hmm. Don't know if Phoenix will be able to play enough D. But I'll play some. The land fights for us. Alright, well this is ideal. So we get to kill the Paradise Druid, we get our Phoenix to die, which is good. We want Phoenix to die, because we want Phoenix to come back at upkeep. Because when Phoenix comes back at upkeep, we draw another card, thanks to Kiora. Then we draw again, because our draw step. Um... Let's let's just play this as a four four. I guess we should make it a five five if there's gonna be a four four land. A little power 
can go a long way. Okay. I want to see what we were going to draw there. Let's just kill this Nessa here while we can. Fight on without me. Untap. Nature flows with vigor. The other thing I was considering was making, instead of, I was considering making the Spellbreaker a 4-4 four, four and making the uh, Lanwar Elf a 2-2. Two, two. You know, we could have done it like that, where Lanwar Elf as a 2-2 two, two could kind of match up here. This is minus 3. We don't really want to kill the Domri. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Ocean surges, life thrives. So with that Domri minus ability, you can probably find like a Krasis. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Um Five, six. Oh, man. One drop ripples and grows. Only we can only give one Bios inside her haste to turn, unfortunately. My computer needs to restart again. Or like the arena needs to restart again. This is really choppy. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have that much loyalty with my Planeswalkers either. So we can have like four loyalty next turn when we play it. Play the Tamiyo. I mean, so I can double strike Shalai. Nah. All right. Gonna be one of those quiet riots. Beast. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. Never forgotten. Oh, I should untap the Paradise Druid and then attack with it also. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're dead, but... That's what I should do with the Kiora. Dun, 
I hope it's not as choppy again in that game. So this is going to be just a tough matchup for us. Like, if they draw Immortal Sun, it's going to really, really hamper me. Um, if they draw the Bant... I mean, if they, if they have the Bant uh, thing, the Bant finale... Or, sorry, the, the white finale that puts a whole bunch of 2-2s two and maybe even 4-4s four into play. Uh, we lost to Gruul. That was our loss. We had some... Some flood issues. I mean, coil's better than strike. Besides that, I think I just kind of want to do my game, game A plan and just, just hope they don't have those things, I guess. I guess we should have Bronted on. What am I taking out? Spellbreaker? I mean, Bronted on kills Immortal Sun plus kills like their enchantment removal. The problem with Negate is. Uh, Teferi, you know, like they have like the the Teferi that keeps you from playing instance. Although I like that's the problem with negate. Thanks, uh Burmpf. Thank you. Well we we're not beating their good hands with this. But this can maybe be a bad hand. When we're on the draw, beating their good hands on the draw is just like not really something we're going to do very often, and six card hands are probably not going to anyway. Unfortunately, it looks like they have a good hand. It's a good hand. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is over. Yeah, I mean, this is over. Turn three Nissa on the play. That would qualify as a good hand. Let's dive right into battle. I hate how choppy this is. Our only hope is they don't attack Kiora for some reason. And we could make an 11-11 bio essence Hydra, or I guess 10. It'd be a 10-10 bio essence Hydra if they don't attack Kiora at all. <laughs> now 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, why would they... Oh, because they want to do... Okay, because they want to use that extra mana there. That's why. Okay. Hey, Matthew. Doing good? So that's their turn four. I told you we weren't beating their good hands. Well, there's a good hand. That was a good hand.
don't know. All right, maybe we'll have a good hand. Maybe we'll get a couple mana creatures on the play here. Uh, good enough. It's not, you know, land wear off busted, but we're not really doing anything ahead of schedule until I guess we could play Nissa on turn. I mean, we could play Phoenix on three and Nissa on four and skip over Domri. Raptor sided in against the aggro decks. Uh, specific, like, best matchup for it is Mono Red. That's not what I want to see, Land War Elf. Not what I want to see. Hmm. I was planning on going Phoenix, but. Get it. Eat an incubation druid. I'm doing that. Saying no Nissa. All right. So now we get Nissa. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. If I play Nissa, can I play anything else? Yes. I can still play Phoenix. Oh no, not after I did that. Not after I did that. I need to play the stomping ground. Uh, one, two. Dang, I need to play stomping ground. I was I was just looking at the stomping ground, thinking of that, and I just just played the the rootbound crag. I was looking at this. Bleh. Um. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, I can't now. You do that sometimes too, yeah. Really? Really? Just getting punished for everything I'm doing. Why, why am I attacking that Paradise Druid? That was a bad attack against Nyssa. That was a bad play against Disdainful Stroke by playing the Nyssa instead of just playing an uncounterable creature. Because Dahmer makes my creature uncounterable. Yeah, those are some bad decisions against what my opponent had. Behold, nature's true Not my power. best magic, but that's all right. Just keep your head up. Let's move on. So there are two uh, Brontodons in the deck. Harness the elements. Right now. Some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. 
I'm not sure why I didn't really attack with the Krasis there either. I was, you know, like worried about all these things on the ground, but I am playing two Brontodons. Probably shouldn't have been that worried about them. All right, nice auto tap. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Ooh, that's nice. Yes, very nice indeed. All right, that's game. Good game. So they did flood out after that. Besides the Nissa, they just had all all mana creatures and lands. Besides the Nissa, no no other payoff. Just the counter spell in the Nissa. That's what you know. So much of their deck is they're just you know like the lands and the mana creatures trying to get out that fast Nissa. But sometimes you just draw all those mana creatures. No crisis for them. All right, we're three and one. We're, we'll go and play one more match here tonight. Let's go ahead and reset this with how jumpy it was there. You have all the mana they ever wanted. All right, one more match here. Hopefully get a 4-1. I mean, 3-2 in Mythic is nothing bad either. Like, even with a loss, like, 3-2 is certainly good. <laughs> yeah, I don't... My my desktop wall tape, wallpaper is nothing that I've, uh, you know, really cared to, to change or anything. What is going on here with my with my arena? There it goes. All right, yeah, let's 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 open this pack here that we got earlier. Crack this open. Ah, uh, not a mythic. Trying to get mythics, but didn't get one. Yes, the Tamio. I mean, Tamio is just really good card advantage. That's what Tamio is. Like Tamio helps you find Krasis. Um, like we don't really play a lot of answers, but it's just it's just really good card advantage that gets you good threats. It's it's uh, helps you find Bio Essence Hydra. It's a it's a good four mana Planeswalker with a lot of loyalty for a Bio Essence Hydra. Um. You know, it's a it's just a good it's just a really good planeswalker. Hmm. Well, this is a fun game. It's the position in a mythic based on number of wins or win rate. Um, I guess win rate. Basically, if you if you win, you move up, but if you lose, you move down. So it wouldn't just be total number of wins, because if you have a lot of losses uh, compared to those wins, you'd be moving down also. So I guess it would be based on win rate. I mean, it's but it's I guess it's kind of a combination though, because um, you know if you go one and zero, oh, your win rate's a hundred percent. You're but you're not going to be up very high still. Yeah, these are these are cards with the cosmetics, but yeah, these are basically like the foil cards, I guess. I suppose. That's a I Suppose that works. Ah, sun in the sky, brine on my skin, 
great day to fight. I love to make a splash. If you're going to play a fourth Bioessence Hydra, what would you leave out? Probably take out a Phoenix. I think I'll take out a, a rekindling Phoenix. No accord. No peace. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Either that or a Nissa. I could see the deck moving just away from Nissa. Nissa's so good against control though. But you know, like Bioessence Hydra is, of course, a five drop, and you don't want just tons of five drops. Hear me again. Oh, have at it, boys. One drop ripples and grows. Oh, I only have four mana? Why did I think I had five mana? I shouldn't have done that. I guess I'll play this thing, try to draw a land. Hawkeye's in the way over here. <laughs> He's that's I'm looking over at this screen a bunch. I don't know. Yeah, that was that was just a bad play. Um, I, I think threes may be enough, but I, I like Bioessence Hydra a lot. But yeah, I think threes probably enough. Like, it's not so good against the removal heavy decks. Honestly, I could see instead of the Ripjaw Raptor in the sideboard, I could just see just playing another Bioessence Hydra in the sideboard. To be honest, against the aggro decks, it's, it could just be a better plan. Good. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Twelve elevens are pretty big. They're hard to deal with, with burn spells, in particular. Wait. The blighters feel the ground tremble. And this is why Bioessence and Hydra is great. All right, so Drake's Coil and Daredevil are both awesome. Um, Ugin's pretty good too. Um, don't want Nissa. The thing is, that's like you know, that's a lot of a lot of cards to bring in. Sarkin may not be that that good, honestly. No, Sarkin's fine. What other three cards do I want to cut, though? Yeah, we did mold a four. Uh, that was a really good mold a four, to be honest, but I forgot. Yeah, we mold a four, and uh, Bioessence Hydra just wins the game. It just, just wins games. So, Phoenix, Rekindling Phoenix doesn't match up too well against Lava Coil. Maybe I trim on some spell breakers. Also just get lava coiled. I'm gonna take out one Sarkin, one Spellbreaker, and a Temio.
MTGA is really bad for you on the, the lag side as well. I can see getting rid of an elf on the draw. Just trimming one elf. I can see that. I don't think Samet's a very good card. We have four mana Domri to give Hydra haste, and that's that card's been very good. I think four mana Domri is a lot better than Samet. Yeah, sure. How many coils you got over there? That's not a very good draw. Good, no Phoenix. Let's kick this madness into high gear. We won't answer to other guilds. That's right, Landwerf can't be countered. No, you want to counter that Landwerf, but cannot be countered. My plan originally was just to play the four four spellbreaker, but with the Lana Werewolf draw. Getting both of these in play. Felt pretty good. Yeah, that's most most like basically all green decks you want to draw mana ramp cards. But yeah, we got the the eight mana creatures and then the eight three mana mana ramp things with the Domries and the Kioras as well. Or sorry, the four of those. So we have twelve total of those. Tamiyo's for card advantage. Tamiyo provides a really good card advantage. Yeah, could have got spell pierced by playing that Domri in there. For sure. And I would have been sad, and I would have been like, man, I should have played Spellbreaker. It worked out. Tamiyo also Tamiyo has a lot of loyalty, which is really good for Bioessence Hydra. Tamiyo curves really well into Bioessence Hydra. Um, Tamiyo ticks up and finds your Bioessence Hydra by digging deep. Also digs deep for Krasis. Which is another very important card. <laughs> How about it, boys? But you want planeswalkers with really high loyalty for Bio Essence Hydra, and Tamiel's one of those. Narset costs double blue, which is really awkward doesn't find Krasis and, and Hydra, like your two cards you want to be finding. Alright, one coil gone. We won't answer to other guilds. I'm gonna just go with the safe thing of this thing that can't be countered instead of like the Ugin that could be countered if there's like disdainful stroke. Or anything like that. I'm just gonna let you pace me. Domri's done some good work for us. It's traded with a lightning strike so far, plus added a bunch of mana for us. Uh, looks like red finale. It's a, that was a very good red finale there. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? More cards. Dang, no lands.
Still feel like they have a disdainful stroke. For that last card. That's what I'm calling that last card, disdainful stroke. Now we can play like Uncounterable Phoenix. But I, I, I don't really see how they're getting out of this from here. All right, let's just let's just test them. All right, they don't know that they don't have the mana for disdainful stroke anyway. Do they have spell pierce? Haha, <laughs> they had spell pierce. All right, that's cool. That must have been. I don't know if that was the one. Yeah, I just wanted to see like what they had. I don't know if they just found spell pierce after all that cycling, or if they had spell pierce earlier. If that was the if that was the one card left. All right, so a nice showing here for Teamer Hydra with the four one. Really, really nice showing. Four ones and in, in mythic. It's very good. And last time that we played this deck, we were four one also, um, with our only loss coming to some really bad mana, and that was kind of our our loss here the other time too. So I think, I think I do want to change though. Um, honestly, I think Bioessence Hydra is probably better than Ripjaw Raptor for the sideboard. Also, like against Mono Red. Because Bioessence Hydra can just be so big, and you know, like we're going to be cutting Sarkin and Nissa against Mono Red, and I don't mind having that five mana card there. Uh, yeah, I, I think I like that. I think that's just going to be better for us than Riptar Raptor. Because you know, like as we've seen, like some of these games, like Bioessence Hydra has come down as like you know, like an eleven eleven, um, and that just ends the game so fast and just kills people so fast. Like it quite a bit there. Um, Igrok, same. The lightning strikes have not been very impressive. I would agree. That's been the worst card in the deck by quite a ways. I want some kind of interaction. We could just play Lava Coil main. The problem with having Lava Coil is it's not so good against decks with no creatures, of course. But I agree. The lightning strikes have not been very good. There, ha there have been a couple of times where I've killed people with lightning strikes. Like, you know, it's happened a couple of times. But overall, there's probably been more times where my opponents have a four toughness creature that I can't kill. Um, that I want to kill. I think the deck could use some some kind of sweepers too, like against like mono white against like the band deck. It does it does kill Nart. Yeah, see that's the thing is lightning strikes very good against the planeswalkers, um, which is why like that versatility is why it's like the card that's in here. No, don't I don't want Dahmer's ambush thrash anything like that. Like we we you want to be able to play your card reliably. I want to I want to play it like right away. On turn two. I don't want collision. I think what we could do is play the two coils in the main and then have something like uh like Rivers Rebuke in the sideboard for like these band ramp decks that just throw like millions of mana creatures out and like mass manipulate all your stuff. Could have like Rivers Rebuke in the sideboard. I'd rather have Lava Coil than Fight with Fire. Like, just kind of look at our curve. Like, 
Hydra Hydra Crisis really costs like four or six. Like I, I want I I want something that costs two. Not three. I mean Star of Extinction is really not that bad. I've certainly thought about having a Star of Extinction in the sideboard. Like for for that kind of matchup. Um but I kinda think I'd rather have Rivers or Buke, which is weird. But yeah, I think I think if, like the deck to be upgraded, like I think that's where it could be upgraded. Is maybe moving coils in into the main instead of strikes, and then finding something else for the sideboard. I don't know what though. I don't know what I want for the sideboard. But I, I feel like we could have just two more sideboard slots for something else. Maybe just. Maybe if you go coils. Yeah, maybe just Fiery Cannonade. I mean, I, I don't love playing mana creatures in Fiery Cannonade, but... Maybe, like... Shiv and Fires, like, for aggro. They can, like, kill something and scale up. You We need Fiery Cannonade. It could be. I don't know. I would want to like kind of go through and, and kind of look at everything, but I, I wouldn't mind. I, like honestly, kind of like moving lot like two lava coils to the main, and then basically having two sideboard slots for whatever you want. Um, yeah, strikes almost never go face, but there have been there have been like a game or two that like I've won because of strikes being able to kill my opponent. Um, so, so that's something to think about there. But another really good showing and good strong deck here. Uh, really fun one to play. You know, as we see like these games, it's a fun deck to play. I like this deck quite a bit. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there to show your support over there. Hey, okay. Uh, but thank you so much for watching Team Hydra, and I'll see you for the next video.